It's showtime in Tennessee. Everybody, welcome back. Uh, come along with me today. We're on our way to Southern Bedford County to the Prestige Walking Horse Sale. Uh, this is a sale that uh, my new good buddy, Blake McDaniel, is the auctioneer for, and then some other good names like Adam Johnson and uh, Chris Elliott, and I think Chris is the one who actually puts on the sale. It's a premier walking horse sale during the celebration, which if you're not familiar with the walking horse celebration, come to Shebbyville, Tennessee sometime and get familiar with it. Uh, walking horse celebration was such a big deal that they shut down schools for this week. This counts as the fall break for Bedford County schools. And so uh, when I was going to school in Bedford County, we called it horse show break, that's what they call it now. Uh, you literally get out of school to go to a horse show. But uh, we're on our way to, uh, to this sale. I'm gonna vlog a little bit today, kind of show you uh, the, the sides of sort of a, kind of a more pristine livestock industry sale. Horses are livestock, but we're dealing with registered animals, we're dealing with show animals, high quality genetics, pedigrees, and so forth. And um, here in a couple of weeks, I hope to do the same thing when we go to uh, one of Drew Williams' goat sales that uh, he's the auctioneer for. Um, that'll be also in Shebbyville, so have more on that with you later but you know livestock sales are great livestock sales are a lot of fun and really it's the the live auction method is being kept alive by the livestock market right now in a lot of ways but registered sales they're fun but they're a whole different animal than uh, your your regular market sales so come go with me we'll uh we'll be there in a little bit and kind of show you the ropes and hopefully get blake on here to talk a little bit about the day and uh, they've asked me to lead the invocation so um, Y'all know I preach full time, and uh, any chance I get to uh, to do something for the Lord, I'm I'm going to take advantage of that. So thanks to them for giving me the opportunity. Look forward to being there. We'll see you guys uh, when we get to the barn. Hey everybody, I am with Blake McDaniel, auctioneer extraordinaire, ready to go to work for the prestige horse sale for the Stars of the Future horse sale. That's you what bet. you call it. You bet. You got a great catalog, a lot of great horses out here, Blake. Tell us what we're expecting today. Uh, some of the best yearling walking colts in the entire country. Uh, Chris has did a really, really good job, worked hard at getting the best of the best here today. Uh, performance, flat shot, either which way you want to go, they're going to be here and we're going to have a great sale. Now you've talked to me a lot about the crew that you have behind you today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the crew, where these guys come from, what their job's going to be today, and how y'all communicate back and forth. Well, the first one's going to be a hometown boy, Mr. Adam Johnson. He's here in Shelbyville and everybody knows that. Adam and stuff uh, from uh, Mississippi. We've got Mr. Dallas Massey who's going to be working with us. He's a uh, he's world champion uh, ringman. From the great state of Kentucky, we've got Blake Ferguson that's going to be working with us. Blake works some really, really premier deals across the country. And from the great state of Oklahoma, Mr. Cody Dozier is going to be working with us. And he also works some really, really premier sales across the U.S. So great, great, great ring staff today. Yeah, I mean, it's something that goes unnoticed. The ringman is kind of the unsung hero of auctions, in my opinion. And uh, y'all have a great team, great crew, and we're looking forward to a great day, Blake. You bet. Hey, glad you're here. Yeah, thanks. You bet.
You know, here's the deal. The hardest one is the first one. But you can sit back here and say, you know what, I bought that number one gold to the third annual sale. And I tell you what, you can see yourself on the brick next year. I promise you, that's a good dude to go just about anyway. He's got the color. He's got the eye appeal. He's got the confirmation. What a way to start to see it. Great time, got to meet a lot of good people. Um, great crowd. I was actually very surprised, you know, Friday at 10 o'clock, but there was a, a really good crowd there, a lot of interested buyers. The bidding was good, the money was there, the product was there, the colts that they had, uh, the, the yearlings, they were phenomenal. Um, I mean, I, I did horse judging in, in high school. Of course, I live in Cheville, grew up the, my whole life in the walking horse and spotted saddle horse industry and uh, did horse judging and did very successful at horse judging and i can tell you just from a, an objective standpoint those were some of the best yearlings that i've seen in a long time phenomenal group the sale uh, went off without a, a hitch you know everybody did a really good job the uh, the ringmen were were grade a blake did a phenomenal job they had online bidding there which in today's market is such an important thing but uh, I, it was a blessing to get to go, and I was really excited to, to see how they run things. If you're looking at having a registered sale uh, for uh, particularly horses, call Chris Elliott, pick his brain a little bit about how he does things. Um, uh, if you need to talk to a, an auctioneer to come work your registered sale for you, you can always reach out to me. You can reach out to Blake McDaniel. I'm sure if he can't, he can find somebody who can. And the same's true with me as well. Um, a lot of registered guys in this general area that I'm in, because we're in the South, but uh, anyways, guys, uh, great sale, and uh, look forward to, to going and taking you with me to some other sales and kind of showing the differences in, in how different people do things, all right? Well, with that, I'll uh, leave you and hopefully see you in a video here in a couple of days, all right? We'll see you.